Hey guys, so week four has happened. This means that my exams are now scarily close. This week has been almost entirely spent in the library, much like last week actually. I think you're probably going to notice a pattern as these vlogs go on throughout the term. In the world of work though, I did have one final outing out of the library, and that was to my last lecture uh, ever uh, as an undergraduate at Oxford, which is a bit kind of sad to think about actually, but it was a really cool one, it was a good one to finish on. So it was an atmospheric physics lecture and basically um, a lot of atmospheric physics is to do with fluid dynamics and um, not just atmospheric physics, but oceanic physics which is what we've been doing recently and um, so the professors had got together some laboratory equipment and um, did some demonstrations for us. But like I say, most of this week has been spent in the library, um, sat down with my notes, making notes, doing problem sheets again, starting to do some exam questions. And as such, um, it's kind of difficult to make sitting in a library for eight or nine hours a day interesting to talk about in a vlog. So I'm going to try something a little bit different this week. So Jamie, uh, last week, uh, talked about college marriages, uh, which is a sort of very unique Oxford thing. And basically I thought I'd do something similar, but with a different topic. So I thought, as a public service, I would save you any confusion that you have when you come up here and do an Oxford glossary. Tut. Noun, short for a tutorial. One of these things that nobody ever says they're going to use when they first come up here, but everybody ends up using it. Basically, a tutorial is uh, the kind of hallmark of the Oxford education system. So it's a one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two, sometimes one-on-four, um, time with your tutor. So typically for a science subject, you'll have a problem sheet which you'll attempt during the week. You'll hand it in, say, on a Friday, and on Monday, you'll sit down with your tutor for an hour going through the questions. And um, they'll give you back a mark script most of the time. And... Uh, you'll talk about the questions that you found difficult and you'll probably go through them on a board. Matriculation. Matriculation is the act of formally becoming a member of the university and it involves going to your matriculation ceremony which will take place here in the Sheldonian Theatre where you get to wear your gown and your subfusk, more on that in a minute, and uh, you listen to the Vice-Chancellor, read something out in Latin and then you become a formal member of the university. After matriculation also comes matriculash, which you can probably guess what that is. Subfusk coming from the Latin for of a dark or dusky colour, subfusk refers to the formal dress that you wear as a member of the university. So you wear subfusk at your matriculation, but you also wear it at um, your exams. And for guys, subfusk consists of a dark suit, white shirt, white bow tie, a gown, and a carried mortarboard. Whereas for girls, it's a uh, black skirt, white blouse, gown, and I don't actually know what you call it, but it's kind of like a, a girly version of a bow tie, like it's like a ribbon that you tie. It's probably just called a ribbon. Tab. A tab is a student at Cambridge commonly used in conjunction with the adjective filthy. Getting deemed. Getting deemed is nowhere near as fun as it sounds like. It basically means getting in trouble with your college's dean. This is normally because you're part of a sports club which has caused a bit too much noise on one of its nights out, or have caused a mess somewhere. Probably also on one of your nights out. And whilst I'm on the subject of things that Jamie's done, and just Jamie generally, I met him in my college bar, and he was just visiting some friends. But we were talking about something which um, one of you left in the comment section on a previous video, I think it was actually last week's vlog, um, which is that we should do a collaboration video. So we're really both up for doing this. For this week's question, I'd love it if you guys could leave in the comment section suggestions for what we could do as a video. We were thinking of some kind of Top Gear style challenge in Oxford, maybe involving like a punt race or something, I don't know. But what, whatever you guys think would be cool, um, leave in the comment section and upvote each other's uh, suggestions if you like the sound of them. Just as a quick note, by the way, before I finish, um, I've been receiving a lot of friend requests from people who watch these vlogs and want to add me on Facebook. And um, I just want to be absolutely clear that I keep my Facebook personal. Uh, it's, it's, I don't add people that I don't know IRL. However, if you do want to have something to do with me, then you're very welcome to follow me. I added that feature on my Facebook, which you can do. Um, but I, I'd just like it if you guys could respect me wanting to keep it private, basically. And lastly, um, basically, exam season started. And so uh, I want to give you guys some fair warning that these videos are probably going to deteriorate in length, quality and interestingness as the term goes on. So please be understanding that um, basically I'm not re responding to messages, um, I'm not replying to that many comments at the moment, uh, just because I don't have the time and um, yeah, physics happened, basically. So I'm sorry that these vlogs, including this one, aren't necessarily going to be as interesting, but do bear with me. So normal service will be resumed after exams. Uh, and thanks for sticking around. I really do. It, it's meant a lot to me to have you guys um, coming back every week and leaving lovely comments on my videos. Um, it's been a real boost to me. So thank you very much for sticking around, and I apologise that I'm going to go a bit mental. Leave suggestions for what you'd like me and Jamie to do in a collaboration video in the comments below. Jamie, I will see you on Thursday. I'll see you guys on Sunday.